Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. And in today's RoboBite, I wanna to talk to you about the Tetrix Max Linear Slide Pack. Now, this is a very unique gear type of pack that is part of the motion category. It has a very specific use case. It actually comes with several different items as part of the pack. I'm gonna show you what they are. We have uh, four of the rack type elements. We have four of the slide bearings. And we have one aluminum pinion gear that comes as part of the pack. Now, the common use for this is basically to transfer a rotational motion into a linear motion. So it has a very, again, unique and specific purpose. And some of the more uh, unusual aspects of this would be more in the way that it is applied. So I have a, a robot here that I wanna go ahead and show you that I have two different applications of the rack pack on this. I have this top option that basically would just extend the arm out. And then I have this bottom application that would cause uh, the rotational motion to transfer to linear and then create a lifting motion. So those are a couple of the applications that you might use a rack and pinion for. Not the only ones, but a couple. Um, one of the things to remember, because there are some unique things that you need to keep, uh, keep in mind, that um, because you can put these racks end to end and create one long rack, alignment becomes very important. You need to make sure that the joints where they align are in alignment as they go um, extended out. You don't want the, the slides to catch on any of the, the ends of the joints. You need to make sure that, as, again, as these are fastened to our beam, that you use the right length screw because if you use the wrong length screw, it's gonna stick up into the teeth of the rack and cause a problem as that pinion gear tries to go along the rack. By the same uh, token, on the other end, the pinion gear has a set screw that holds it in place on the axle. So if you have that set screw that is not tightened down properly and it's out extended into the teeth of the pinion gear, you could have a similar type of a problem with the teeth meshing properly as those screws interfere. So those are some of the things you need to uh, remember to watch out for when you're using those. Um, extra resources. Please remember that you can always go to pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, you will have uh, things like CAD files, um, spec sheets that are gonna give all of the information you need about that. But in this particular uh, instance, we also have an additional resource. In every pack that you get, we have an inspiration card that has drawings that show you ways that you can mount this up. So those are additional resources that are available for this particular item. Again, it's a very unique type of a gear uh, application. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, and come back and see us.